Back to school season is here, even though the first day of class is in for a few more weeks. Young and Established is hosting a backpack drive in Evansville on Saturday. Executive Director Courtney Johnson joins us now with how you can donate or receive supplies for your family. So good morning, sir. Good, good morning. morning. You brought some uh, backpacks yeah. with you as well. I did. I Looks brought nice. three and uh, some school supplies, too. Great. So what when you are collecting these, what are you all specifically looking for in terms of the backpacks and the supplies? So we're looking just for the basics as far as pencils, folders, notebooks, everything a mm -hmm. kid would need uh, for school. And of course, the biggest thing is the backpacks. Yeah, let's show some of these yeah, off. Yeah, let's... I'll hold one there for yeah. one. I'll hold Super Mario. I'll hold the strawberry. Oh, I like <laughs> the strawberry one. Yeah, very yeah. nice. Cool. So let's talk about this. How it goes both ways. You can either donate or you can come and get some supplies. How does that all work? Yeah, so we always ask for our community to support because we have a big turnout. This is probably one of the biggest backpack drives in Evansville. So last time, I believe it was over 500 to 600 people wow. that uh, came to receive backpacks and it just continues to grow. We actually, uh, what you're seeing now is at our community center. There were, you know, people there two to three hours before the actual event. Wow, and it really? was very hot that day. So mm -hmm. we were like, we need to yeah. kind of move this somewhere else. So that's why we wanted to switch it over to McGarry. But anybody can come receive a backpack. And we're also going to partner with Rogers Academy to give away um, cards to receive a free haircut as well. Nice. Oh, that's great. Nice, nice. All right. And how can people drop off these supplies? Anything in particular you're looking for people to donate in terms of supplies or maybe not donate? So the biggest thing is the backpacks. As okay. I mentioned, we really would love to have more backpacks. Okay. But as far as the school supplies, what I named would be great. Um, our center is open 12 to 4. You okay. can drop it off. It's 1308 Man Avenue. And you can drop it off all the way up until Friday. So we'll be okay. receiving donations all the way up until that date. And then for you to have that many people and so many lined up, this must be a huge need within our community. Most definitely. And I think it shows, you know, us being able to partner with other organizations and come together just shows the need uh, to see so many people reach out. I think we've had well over six or seven organizations, you know, wanted right. to partner with us mm -hmm. to donate. So we're just excited to bring our community together and support a good cause. Great. Now there are a few, you know, rules when, when people show up. D does the child need to be present? How many can you, backpacks and school supplies, can you receive per child? How does that yeah. work? Yeah. yeah, so the child does need to be present and it is just one backpack per child. And they actually get to pick out the backpack and pick out their school supplies as well. Okay. And Casey Gray Insurance, she is uh, also a drop-off site as yes. well. So they're and on the north side. one of our sponsors as well, too. Yes. So. so if you're on the north side, drop those off at her office throughout the week. So if you could, give us a little bit of insight when, when the kids and families are there going through the backpacks. I mean, you running in saying, Mommy, I want this one. Daddy, I want this one. I mean, share the stories with us. What you hear? So the best part is that when they actually mm -hmm. get to come in and choose, you know, which backpack they would like. And it just brings a smile to us and also the families to not have to worry about, you know, finding school supplies or finding a, a good backpack. So to be able to go somewhere and receive uh, what we're offering and then also the haircuts is a is a huge thing. I think that's mm -hmm. why we added that uh, It's a little bit more difficult to try to cut, you know, five to six hundred students yeah. hair. That's why we <laughs> yeah. pivoted to uh, Actually giving out a card to the students. That's a good idea and quickly as we wrap up you you all made a recent announcement about a campsite Yes, so that was a, a huge project that we've kind of been waiting to announce but yes a campsite has uh, Been something that we wanted to do for a very long time when we talk about post-covid uh, there was just a lot of need and mental health issues. And one of the things that our students loved is when we took them fishing. And we were like, you know what, let's try to find a space that we can actually, you know, make our own. So that is kind of how it came about. But the space is beautiful. The campaign is going on now. Great. And a lot of support. I don't know if you mm -hmm. got to see it on Facebook, <laughs> but yeah. over 700 something shares in uh, one day. So that was just amazing to see and, and all the support we get from our community. Great. All right. Courtney Johnson doing so much great stuff in our community there with Young and Established. So thank you very much for your time today. And there you go. Thank get you yourself a backpack.